Hi YouTube. I thought I'd chat a little more with you. I still have some stuff to do. This is a different phone again. Um, I'm not going to study about that other one right now after doing a 30 minute video. Um, so if I get cut off, I love you all and I'll be back and I will um, check on that. Um, you know, what I need to do to not have that happen again to me, but just not today. I've had enough of today, and it just started for, well, kind of. See, Doug's up a lot of times till early morning hours, you know, so our schedules are like so way different, you know, so um, anyway. Uh, I'm going to share a link to We Are Change. Um, he shared a clip about a young woman getting pulled over and they wouldn't even tell her why. And they chained her up and left her in, in the car on the railroad track and she got hit and died. Um, talk about negligence that's beyond that's just not caring that's brain dead that's as brain dead as you can get right there and that is the topic of my video how other people do not care about me and this is the bottom line right here as legally as I can if I see any of you in public, as legally as I can, I am going to retaliate. Just let that be known. Um, we all, all know what victorious is on this plane of existence anyway. It's the effort and the strength that one puts out into the situation and who can usurp that energy from that person. And some people you can't do that to. And I'm one of them. And guess what? I don't need your energy and I don't want nothing to do with it because it's dirty. I have my own and plenty of it and enough of it to spread my retaliation feeling across the entire planet placed in some very well meaning ears. So they're sad as they say, excuse me a minute. They all love witchcraft and the spoken words, so I just thought I'd give them some words for their book of Revelation. Is it a new dawning? Is it a new day? Are you feeling me? And I feel good. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, um, I'm not putting up with one iota of their smearing tactics trying to take what are emotional, true, loving human beings and pretending that what they are doing isn't turning our hearts colder than what we want them to be. They're taking our true natural selves and trying to make it illegal to be a tender-hearted person. I'm not talking about a queer cupcake um, trying to screw my baby. I'm talking about normal human beings that want a safe, clean planet without their children and them being told what to do by the government, period. Period. Nothing else. Even, see, God gave us this planet. Man didn't. 
and I'm not going to abide by man's laws. And I can show you, okay, there's two places in your, your so-called script that says that we're to abide by man's laws, and that's within reason in the Black's Law Dictionary also. And I have my reason. Because... It's my planet just as much as it is yours, if not more, because my father gave it to me. And Mother Earth is going to puke you off this planet with the energy that comes from within, like a heartbeat. That's how you carry the heart of the father inside yourself same thing and she is not going to put up with your shit oh that's why i love the movie she devil because the maid in there after these kids all go crazy on her um it's like a little sodom and gomorrah thing going on with uh she devil's ex-husband and her kids you know and the maid, she didn't get hired to be like a babysitter and laundry and bringing drinks out by the pool. And she, like, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, dang. Uh, oh, I don't remember the actress's name. But she comes home from work and the maid's leaving and she's got a, like a Slavic accent. And uh, she asked the maid where are you going and she she just put down her suitcases and looked at her and she says up with your shit I will not put you know and I'm like wow I just love that line you know it's like a rather crude movie that I saw with Doug and a lot of people kind of like the movie I like one line in the movie of Barfly and that's Faye Dunaway telling Mickey Rourke, he, they're asking each other how much they like other people. And um, Rourke was a poet and a writer, and he says, um, uh, how did he word that? I like people. I just like it better when they're not around. Or I love people, I just like it better when they're not around, <laughs> you know. And in the English language, being not around may be good or bad, depending on how you look at that, too. So that's a little vague. <laughs> so anyway, it was sort of sad because she would do anything for a bottle of whiskey. Oh, thank God, never been nothing like that even though I like to drink um, I had self-control <laughs> you know always you know unless I just like got sick and couldn't help myself of course you know but as far as self-control over my emotions except anger that's a little more hard to deal with when you're drinking it really is as sometimes if you've had it a excess Excessive amounts of um, like badgering or trials and just like nonsensical bullshit if you're around that type of thing or anything. It's like, yeah, and then it's probably maybe not a good time to drink in your life because if you are kind of um, snappy, you might get snappy. You know, so that might not be a good thing, you know. It's probably a good thing I'm, I'm found out I'm allergic to, like, alcohols, you know, and all that. Because um, some people I probably wouldn't even just think about slapping them really fucking hard, but I'd probably do it, you know. So, of course, I always say stuff like that, but don't act like that. You know, so, but, but I can fight. I, I've fought and I've put my gouges in whatever it took, you know, so, yeah. Not, not typical of 
most people anyway. <laughs> Let's put it like that. Because I had to survive some crazy, crazy situations in my life. So I didn't have a choice, you know. And you would think, well, if you don't put yourself in them type of situations, I was um, conned into situations and conditioned to be in different situations so the dark cabal could have control over me. And um, they never could because I'm uncontrollable. So they just have to put me down. That's about it. So I'm not going down. You know, I'll probably die up in the air if they tried to grab me. And it would take all of them, whatever, for real. Because, you know, right here I'm fighting for my life. The air that people breathe in this world. I have little um, uh, great nieces and nephews that have asthma so bad from living in Southern Valley areas of the United States. And they can barely breathe. They're born with lack of air. It's like a natural thing around some of these um bigger metropolitan areas and different places with pollution. And it's not the people of the world that are polluting in their vehicles. That is not what, it's the big factories. And look at all these jets and rockets and um, uh, waste products around the world. That's what the poison is. That's what's going on. They're keeping the money and they're dumping the filth. It's as simple as that. And we have to stop them. It's as simple as that. I'm hoping wherever these freaks and all their affiliations, no matter who it is, right down to a busboy and a um, Sicilian restaurant, I don't give up flying fuck you all uh i don't care who you are if you're affiliated with any kind of mafioso dark cabal deep state bullshit you are mentally on my hit list and there are no electronic weapons nothing formed against me that's going to work not one thing so just keep that in mind you're playing with fire so and that's not a you know fire is not a funny thing to play with the old adage play with fire you might get burned it's not a matter of might Christ told you that the sword was a literal thing in the pen and your name being written out of existence. You will not matter. But until then, I'm not letting you hurt the flesh that my father gave everybody on this planet out of love to be loved. And call love dirty and be dirtied on. And that's where Mama Lioness is going to get up and eat your ass. That's what's going on right now. The powers of my mind are going to spread far and wide. With or without the help of mankind. Men in particular. There are some. Don't get me wrong. In fact, um, if I still have time. I'm going to read to you what I am Kai commented on my last video. Just a moment here. I'm going to pull it up. Just give me a minute. If I get cut off, I will come back and share that with you. Because this is, this is basically how they want us all to feel in life. I hope you can hear me. Here it is right here comments off of 
superpower countries working in tandem dump waste on the world. And I posted it to Facebook. I'm hope yep, I'm still going. Okay. I have some very nice people in my life. Thank you all. Here's another from my YouTube channel. Comments on the superpowers. I am Kai. It's hard to understand, but some people have no emotion personally. My emotions are diminished greatly because it was required for survival of the mind. Love can kill too sometimes. It must be the sacrifice. Isn't it though? Whoa, huh? Like, holy shit, kid. Young man. Mr. God in your heart. Holy shit, that blew me away. I could not say it better. So, I'm going to leave a link for I Am Kai's channel. You can check them out. That blew me away. <laughs> so, and I can't watch everybody, and I try, you know, but I had to dedicate a lot of my time to, to what I'm trying to do here. And um, I do love you all and thank you for joining me, you know. And I don't know how, I'm gonna try and push this phone on another 30 bit minute video um, another day perhaps, but I'm gonna upload this right now with uh, um, I am Kai's link and we are changes link with a lot of um, current events of the day and information and that poor woman on the railroad tracks. Ooh. Sickening world. So I love you all. Thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful night or day wherever you're